Hey guys, I made a vending machine in Minecraft, and I, I know you may be thinking, oh, how original, a vending machine in Minecraft. I've seen plenty of these on YouTube. Well, this one is different for two reasons. One, unlike most videos on YouTube, when you place your payment in here, you only get to pick one item from the list of items. You don't get infinite items for five minutes. The other way it's different is this one has a disclaimer. The vending machine is not responsible for any food poisoning that occurs by eating the food from it, because this food is probably stale as long as it's been sitting in a vending machine. Just like in real life, although they don't, they don't go stale in real life, they just get probably really close to it. I would guess. I don't actually know. But anyways, let's show you how to use this vending machine. Place the payment in there. Wait for the torch to light before placing your order. There's the torch, so let's get something to eat. How about some cooked pork? There's my pork. And I want to buy something else, because I'm still going to be hungry after that. I just know it. What do I want to buy? A cookie for dessert. Meat and dessert. There we go. And the torch is lit, so I can place my order. There's a cookie. And let's see. I'll buy some TNT. That looks like fun. I'll have some fun with TNT in this. It's nice open land. No one's going to care. I think I'm the only one here anyway. So the torch is lit, and let's have some TNT. No TNT, and that didn't sound good. Oh my! <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you liked that little boom at the end. Now I'm going to show you how this whole thing works. So when you place your payment in here, it goes down the chamber. It, this is where it lands, it just flows down the water, goes along this pressure plate, and then it gets pushed into this water. That's how it does not stay on the pressure plate, and I can even show you that. Place the torch there, and on the pressure plate, off the pressure plate, and it's over there now. Where I can easily grab it for testing, that's why these signs are here. So anyways, when the pressure plate is activated, this little memory cell right here gets switched so that the back portion is off and this back portion uh, does not go up there it goes up here and there's a redstone torch right there and then one right there and this one is the output from payment off is paid and so I just paid over there even though I picked up the torch I paid so it is now off now because it is off um, it goes to an AND gate for each and every button. Each of the colors is a button. Be oh, behind the dirt is the button, the colors, where the redstone coming from the button is. But yeah, it goes to an AND gate, which is like this. Two redstone torches and an output redstone torch. One of the redstone torches, this one, in this case, is from... The payment area, which is right here, it goes around and right there to that redstone torch. The other one is from the button, and that is true from for each and every one of the buttons. They each have an AND gate. This one's blue, this one's yellow, etc, etc. So after the AND gate gets activated, which is when you have paid AND, you have pushed the button, the AND gate sends a signal two directions. I'm going to do this one first. So it goes up here to the purple block from the purple AND gate. And goes up there. So there's the purple block. The signal comes up here. Gets, uh, um, what's it called? Inverted and then repeated for a bit of delay. There's a reason for this delay. Uh, if I don't do the delay, I get two items per button push most of the time. Sometimes it's one, most of the time it's two. I put this delay in there and that fixed it to where it's just one. I'm not sure why, but that's what fixed it. But anyways, it goes to this thingy, this dispenser. <laughs> wow, I was doing good the first half of this video. So it goes to this dispenser and out pops the bread in this case. So that's what happens for each and every one. And the other direction that the AND gate splits to, remember this was the first one up to the dispenser, this way, it goes up here, and this is the reset line. This resets, well, 
each and every block comes up here. Oops, fell off. But each and every block comes up here, green, yellow, blue, all of them. And then they follow this direction and go all the way down here to the reset portion of the memory circle so that it is saying you have not paid and this torch turns itself back on. So, uh, let's see. It comes down here and just, just, whoops, wrong one to destroy. Just reset there. And now I have not paid. Off is paid, but that is on. So it just resets that so you have to pay again before you can buy another item. The last part I want to show you when how this works is, um, well, this is the button for TNT, correct? Yes, that's the TNT button. It just goes along this path, like each and every other one of them. As you can see, this takes up a lot of space. This is not nearly as condensed as it could be, but I was not going for condensing it. I was just going for functionality. So anyways, the TNT has a the same AND gate. You have to pay and the button has to be pushed. And then it comes over here and just goes underneath the vending machine. And we are moving towards the front of it where the buttons are. And here is a whole bunch of TNT that I can't get to. Anyways, here it is. There are... I don't know how many, but it's a bunch. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there's 11 TNT. And they all explode underneath you. There we go. So the TNT is all along here. And there's the TNT button. So yeah. <laughs> the TNT just, just explodes underneath you and destroys this part of the vending machine. I didn't want to destroy the whole thing. I just wanted to destroy you and part of the vending machine. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up the video if you did enjoy it and subscribe to see all of my videos. And also if you want to, feel free to comment and stupid rain. <laughs> Weather, sun. I hate how loud the rain is. If it wasn't so loud, I wouldn't mind it so much. But anyways, do all the things I said. Like the video, comment, subscribe for all of my videos in your subscription box. And yeah, until next time, guys. Bye.